What's up, y'all? What it do? You already know it's your bitch. Coffee back in the building. What? Today's an exciting ass video. Um, I'm starting this new series and it's called Coffee Creates. Okay, so it's basically gonna be a series of just all the stuff that I create because I create so many different things and so many different avenues like I can't even think to tell y'all because I just do so many different things But today this is an inspiration off of this girly right here Notice it did not come off the dome of my brain Please if you would like to purchase anything of the sort of like this, please go to her page shout out to you girl You're fire because I had seen her stuff on my TikTok and I'm like no, that's blah like that's blah and I literally just wanted to try like I just wanted to create it myself like literally so all props to you girl you the shit black girl magic period but yes y'all about to watch me make these denim fucking tennis shoes air forces I don't even know what to call them but y'all about to see so I'm starting off with my old busted up A1s everybody know you gotta bust it up her A1s in the closet so these are the ones we gonna upcycle today y'all Next thing you need is some jeans, bruh. I actually upcycled this pair of jeans, so it's fine. I'm upcycling again. You need some scissors for show, some clips, some fabric clips, hot glue gun, and that's it. So first thing you want to do, obviously, is take out the shoelaces in the shoe. I actually didn't keep none of the laces in anyways. Um, I like the finished look without them, so make sure you remove the laces. You don't even have to worry about them. If you really want to reinstall them, you can. But I ain't gonna lie, I got tired and I ain't wanna do it. So, yeah, we gonna leave them laces all the way out, period. Period, look how they look. Wow. So excited. So I folded the lace flap up to give the shoe more structure, if that makes sense. So right here, I'm about to start cutting out the rips of the jeans. This is kind of an important part because it structures like the shoe, if that makes sense. Like the frappe. Girl, move. Uh, she always want to be in somebody's face. But anyways, yes, the rips of the jeans is what made the jeans like or the shoes very fine to me. I didn't want to put like a basic part of the jean on the shoe. I definitely wanted like the most ripped of parts, which is actually why I chose these jeans in the first place. So make sure you just cut all that out. You want to cut out all the pieces that you want to use on the shoe. This is the type of shoe that you can patch together. It does not, like the jean does not have to stay together. You can literally glue strip by strip. You get what I mean, y'all, but wow. You can literally glue strip by strip. Um, no matter how you want to like assort the shoe, you can definitely chop up them jeans to make the look that you want. So next, what you want to do is you want to place the front piece first. I always do the front piece first because that's the piece that everybody sees, obviously. But I wanted the rips, like the real ripped up part on the front because duh, that's the look we're going for. We're going for like a distressed shoe look. So once I got that placed correctly and how I want it to, next I'm going to go ahead and just glue it on down, girl. Grab that hot glue and get to gluing. There is no specific way that I'm gluing it. When I tell y'all, I'm literally just splitting that glue on there and placing the fabric on there and moving on. Now, a very, very key note that you're gonna see me do right here. I spread the fabric. You see how I spread it? You wanna stretch the fabric for show. Um, I wanted a tighter fit of the fabric to the shoe, so if you would like it to look the same as mine, just make sure you stretch the fabric when you glue it down. So as you can see, my left hand is very much so still holding that fabric in place. So you want to make sure that as the glue is drying, you hold it in place. Since you stretched out the fabric, you don't want the fabric to basically compress back. So you want to make sure that you hold everything in place. Look how I'm, I'm stretching that John boy out here. <laughs> and apply firm pressure. Please apply firm pressure. Make sure that everything is sticking with everything because as soon as you release your pressure point, baby, um, your fabric will fly up and that happened to me about two to three times. So this is coming off of experience people Very much so experience try not to have y'all struggle like I struggle you feel me 
So basically what you want to do is you want to cut up other parts of the jean. And I chose every part that was like rigid. I wanted that real distressed look. Like every part of the jean that I could find that was distressed, that's what I wanted. So now this is more so of like the formation of the shoe. I got the front part glued. Now I'm going to work my way from the front to the back. I know y'all see that smoke coming up by my shoe. Please don't worry, my shoe is not on fire. That came from the hot glue gun. And if the same thing happens to you, just know it's your hot glue gun. There's no way that hot glue can cause a fire with shoe, like literally. <laughs> but yeah, next thing you wanna do is just start assorting the jeans through. Y'all, y'all finna see? Literally, I'm just going through and I'm piecing together pieces and literally just gluing. Oh, literally, me some money. It's like, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of easy like this was a very easy project which is why I'm excited to show y'all because I want to see y'all creations you know what I'm saying we all creatives out here so I want to see what y'all come up with period. So for the tighter corners, this is where the clips come into play. Um, I definitely wanted to make sure that the fold is most definitely folded. So please make sure that you use the clips to ensure that the glue most definitely dries with the folds.
I'm so excited for y'all to see the final look. I absolutely love it. Please tell me down below if you love it too, because girl, this might have started something new. Mm. But look, look at the results. enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like comment share and subscribe wop um these came out splash like that splash splash i love these they're so cute to me i definitely will wear these outside like for sure i'm probably gonna make them in different colored denims because i got pink old like old pink jeans old camo jeans whatever the case may be so but um if y'all create them please send y'all's creation to me and to her the person who inspired me to create it because you know she's the original and yeah that's pretty smart and you already know coffee beans i'm brewing on up out of here i love y'all and i'm out call y'all back the fuck later bye